Hi guys, Nigel here with you again, and here you can see I am outside a shop up near Cheltenham, and it's here a boy, and I'm up here, as you can see now down behind me, I'm sure, you can see I'm in the lovely little GR Yaris, and you can see this is the home of Zero Paints, and I've come here because I've bought a little kit, and I'm going to put it on the roof of the Yaris, so then you'll be able to see it, it's right, where is it, it's there, and that is the... GIRS HKS Rocket Bunny Special, so we'll have some fun with that. So let's do a review of it. I'll get on home now, get it on the bench, and we'll see what we think of it. So remember, guys, this is not a shop. You cannot just come and visit and walk around and buy stuff. It's online only, but if you live local, you can come and collect. And you can also pay cash if you want to as well, which is good. So I'll uh, see you in a minute. And here we are, back home, back at the bench. Um, what a drive that was, my God. Uh, I don't know what they're doing to the roads around Staverton in Gloucester, but um, oh, avoid it. It's just ridiculous. So went to hear a boy, as you know, got this kit and uh, really, really nice. I'm not sure about its accuracy. Um, I've seen some images of it on the Hero Boy website. And basically, as you can see, I'm just opening it. I haven't even looked inside. Um, for a start, this kit is right-hand drive, and from what I can gather, what I've seen, the HKS car, this car here, is actually left-hand drive. This car has a full interior. The actual HKS car doesn't. It just has the one seat. But um, I don't really care. I love the look of it. I love the HKS livery with the black and the greens and all stuff. So I thought I'd get it. I've got a GR Yaris, as you know. You've just seen it outside here a boy. So um, there we go. Kit number is AM020057. It's from Alpha Model and it's the Rocket Bunny GI Yaris HKS and it's 124 scale full detail kit. Don't be fooled by those words full detail kit because some would assume full suspension detail, full engine detail, you know, everything. It's not. It's, it's very much a curbside kit. So be a little bit careful with terminology there. So anyway, this is the first time I've looked in this box. As we can see, it is, it's a beautiful, rigid cardboard box. It is very, very well presented. And as we open it up here, we can see that inside we have some paperwork. I'm assuming this is the instructions. So this is actually the HKS version with the green and purple and everything. And the actual base color on the back is black. And then this one here is a version, I don't know what it is. Um, is it Cusco? I'm not sure. No, I don't know what it is. Uh, but it's it's sort of grey and light grey and red and everything. Got some orange on the bonnet. So very nice, but uh, I'm not sure what it is. So that there is the instructions. And then here we've got a layer of bubble wrap. So we'll put that up there. And then we've got some bags of resin parts. This is 100% sort of resin kit, this, with a few bits of photo etch and stuff. And we've got the resin body there, which is very nice indeed, very heavy, I must be honest. Um, and then we've got some exhaust parts there by the look of it, and some other bits and pieces. We'll have a look at all this in detail in a minute. We've got some door cards, and then we've got the actual dash panel there, which is nice. And we've got some wheels, and we've got two different sets of wheels to build two different types of cars. And uh, I think really the thing to do is just go with the ones you like the most. I prefer these to these, I think, because they've got more rim on them. Um, we have some rivets and some screws and a shaft in there. Then we have some more bubble wrap. And then we have a bag of photo etch, brass and stainless steel, nickel silver, whatever. We have some chrome bits and pieces here. We have the GR badges there, which are beautifully made. And then we have the clear acetate windows, which is something I was worried about. I did look on the American website. I saw they advertise this as vacuum formed windows. Um, and obviously they're not. They're just flat acetate. And with the compound curves of the front and rear windows, I'm not quite sure how we're going to get them to fit. But we'll see. Then we've got here, we have a... What's this here? Is this, this is a card by the look of it. Oh, come here. I wish I had fingernails. I bite my nails, guys. Don't do it. It's, uh, it's terrible. And this is a card. That's lovely. Little card there with the uh, the model on it. And then we've got decal sheets here. So these are the the ones. I don't know what they are. It just says Rocket Bunny Yaris decals. 
we've got Toyo tires decals there for the actual tires www.martelius.com EC Racing uh, I saw that and thought it was Cusco but it's not Cusco is it but it's the the nice red and orange and grey colours there and then here we have the HKS scheme which is the one I will be doing and uh, very nice they are indeed not sure about the quality of the decals I've never built an alpha model kit if you have please let me know in the comments below if you have any special tips but uh, they look very very nice they're very much in red register and the colours look to be very very dense as well so no um, worries about images of the black coming through the decals so very nice indeed so um, what we'll do is we'll get all this back in the box here and we'll have a look at it in more detail so there we go so let's get all that back in there and we'll have a look after we've had a look at the instructions so we have the instructions over here I'm going to try and do this in one hit with no editing um, so very sort of like MFH type instructions uh, but very very busy uh, so we've got here this is these this is the parts call out this is all the parts we've got we've got our photo etch here we've got our decals there we've got our clear windows there and we've got some chrome metal parts there we've got our GR badges and then some stainless steel and some screws uh, so that's all very nice but then going over here I'm looking for sort of step one step two step three and I can't see anything of the sort so I'm assuming it's one two three four five six nope five six don't know I had heard somebody did mention to me that they had actually heard that the instructions were awful <laughs> so um, there we go uh, so we have we have the dash panel here to build up we've got photo etch going in there and then this panel here which is your radio and everything is going to go in there now for a start currently I mean I don't know how the HKS started life um, it certainly didn't start life as a right-hand drive car and then become left-hand drive unless the first one they built was right-hand drive which seems very strange because in Japan everything is right-hand drive it could be they've made it left-hand drive to have more clearance for a big exhaust or something I don't know but um we're building up the dashboard we've got the heater controls going in here we've got the gear stick going in we've got the radio controls up there we've got PE for the um, for the instrument panel I would have thought we'd have had decals as well for the instrument panel but it would appear that we don't looks like we don't have any decals for the instrument panel so we've got PE there maybe it's color PE we'll have a look in a minute and then we've got some resin parts going in here and then we're building up the stereo wheel with jet with, with uh, various PE parts and they've actually got the conversion here you can get this in real life if you look at this here those there are the actual um, controls that go into the airbag steering wheel uh, and if you want to fit a non airbag steering wheel you can buy this plastic mount that you can fit those parts in and then they fit behind the steering wheel so you still have all your controls your radio and the sat nav and all that or whatever they are I never bloody use them um, and then you can fit a normal steering wheel there so you've got various bits of PE going in there to make up the steering wheel then we've got seat belts going together here and it's telling us how to fit the seat belts in fact no it's not it's just telling us this is how you make the seat belts not how to fit them we've got PE for the pedals which is a nice touch we've got the seats going together there rear seat going in and then we're going to add the door cards so I'm assuming we're going to add the door cards to the body we've got little handles and stuff going in there we've got some skids door handles fairings for the rear spoiler there rear part there with rear lights fitted again um, pretty pretty tricky got the rear window going in there which as I say is a piece of flat acetate that's going to be a nightmare to fit I think um, and then we've got P going in these grills these are the HKS uh, air extractor grills in the back here uh, and then we've got more bits of fairings and spoiler bits we've got reflectors going in the rear there they're resin um, got those rear lights there it's saying R I'm assuming it's resin I don't think there's any actual red parts um, or maybe it's clear parts of the tailor paint and red but there's no real guide and you've got these rivets here going in got the rear wing going on 
and all that so that's all good and then we've got here we have the actual floor pan going into the body so we've got these big mounts here going in they're sandwiched between the floor and the body by the look of it and that's what's going to hold the disc brake caliper you've got the PE part in there front and back for the discs and then you've got your wheels there you've got R1 or R11 plus R12 so that's nice you can choose your wheels and then all that's going to get screwed together so it actually looks like you screw these great big hubs into the body for the wheel to mount on and then you fit the floor and screw them in then we've got the exhaust going on here and we've got options with the exhaust by the look of it so R31, R32, R33 so let's just have a look here just to see what all this is all about yeah they are resin parts 31, 32, 33 so they're resin parts so you've got the choice of what you want to do um, and that's it your model's finished so yeah um, somebody told me the instructions aren't very good I believe them yeah so what have we got in the box? Um, we have a bag of resin parts here. So let's just have a look. Oh, maybe that's a very tight bag. So let's have a look in here. So we have various bits and pieces. Now these are, it's absolutely beautifully cast. Very, very nice indeed. So these are the internal sections for the headlights. You can see those there. Very nicely done beautifully cast no air bubbles no nothing so that's all nice to see we've got brake calipers here front and rear very very nice indeed i'm assuming these are the standard gr yaris calipers but they are beautiful almost want to take a copy of them um then we've got here we've got the handbrake we've got the actual display there for the for the radio and then we've got here I'm not sure what those bits are. They're probably parts of the interior. So that's very nice. And then here we've got headrests. Uh, that's the actual mounting. So the radio face is going to go on there. And you can see down in there again, beautifully cast. You can see in there we've got the vents for the heater in the dashboard. This is a moulded centre for the steering wheel. Uh, I'm not sure if you use the... Um, the photo etch and that or just the, that and then this is the rear view mirror it's obviously broken off the this fret but uh, beautifully made we've got a couple of disc brakes here which have come loose we can see we've got the front bells there which are beautifully done just as the real car is really really nicely done and then we've got a couple there which haven't broken off so we can just put them in there we have a complete steering wheel so you can use a complete steering wheel if you want to or you just have the rim and you can use the photo etch or the resin center and you've got the steering column shroud there with the the indicator stalk and the light controls and everything so all very nicely done as i say um, if you're after ultimate accuracy i'm not sure that any of this is actually correct different exhaust here so you've got the big that's going to be the five inch i guess exhaust and then these are going to be the smaller twin exhaust tailpipes with the gear stick there and then there is that little pod in the centre that I was telling you about that you can buy and then fit the actual um, steering wheel controls to there, which is nice. And then you've got the, we've got some vents here for the dashboard. They are gorgeously about the cast. It's very, very nicely cast, I must be honest. And we've got the heater controls there. And then this is the roof antenna for the radio and the gps or whatever so that's bag number one bag number two what have we got here very tight bags right what have we got here we have um that's our front grille so that's very very nice indeed you've got the air intakes there for the brakes and then this is the grille going over the top again i mean when you look at that casting it is gorgeous this is some of the nicest resin casting I've ever seen, guys. It really is nice. Um, this is, I don't know what this, these, these are actually, that is the rear spoiler support. So these are going to go on the sides of the body at the back. Um, in fact, they are. And then there's also parts for the front there, I believe. It's very difficult to see what is what. 
when it's in its sort of single point, a single part. Um, here we have some of those wheel mounts. So I'm looking at that. It looks like we can actually slide the wheels in and out. So if you want to give it a big stance, you can. And there's four of those. So that's really cool. And then we have the door mirrors, which are beautifully done with the... Oh, look at the moulding on there. The detail is just exquisite. And I know we've got mirrors to go in there as well, made of sort of chrome tape. And then here we've got door handles. And then we've got some little tiny bits and pieces there. I can't even see what they are, but you can see there, it's all lovely. How the hell did they get that out of the mould without breaking it? Incredible. Very nice indeed. And then we've got another bag here. These are our, I don't need to get these out, these are our door cards. So you can see there we've got the, the door pockets there with the armrest and everything. Standard GR Yaris and we've got the separate door handles to go in there. So that's very nice. We have here a bag of bits. These are all big chunky interior bits but look at these bags are so tight. So let's just get this out of here. So in here we have this great big chunky piece of resin and that is a one piece dashboard with your centre console which is very very nice indeed as you can see. Beautifully made, really really lovely and then here we have the rear seat which again is beautifully done. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got an insert to go in there, I'm guessing we have. Got the headrests on there, we've got the holes in there for the seat belts. It is absolutely faultless casting. I can't see a single bobble or anything. There's there's not even any flash, it's just it's absolutely gorgeous the moulding on this. It really is stunning. We we'll put these back to back so they don't damage each other. So that's that. But as I say, guys, accuracy, I don't think it's right. But tell me if I'm wrong, please, if you're a HKS fan, did they originally build a wide-body Rocket Bunny Yaris from a road car? It'd be great to know if they did, because then I'd know it's accurate. So we've got seats here, so we've got left and right seats. You can tell by the, the seat belt buckle in there. But they are absolutely <laughs> exquisitely moulded. They're beautiful, look. They really are nice. So some careful painting using mats and sat satins and stuff, we can get these to look absolutely lovely. Again, I've got the real car outside so I can do the, um, the colour matching and stuff. I'm assuming this is a rear bulkhead parcel shelf, whatever. Then we've got here, we've got the exhaust systems. So we've got twin exhaust. Um, that's going to be where it goes in and then this is where it comes out. And you've got the choice of the mufflers. In the end, the HKS one... They got rid of that and just put a direct pipe out. I think they did it without a muffler. And then we've got the rear valance here. And that's where the exhaust is going to come out. And then we've got the... That's the rear end of there. This is just the wind, The rear screen goes here. Okay, number plate sort of goes here. And this is the back end where the rear lights go. That's beautifully cast as well. This is the front splitter by the look of things. So... Very, very nice. I haven't seen a single bubble yet. Oh, we've got a choice here. We've got the um, another exhaust silencer. So this one is the, the twin pipe outlet, and this is the four pipe outlet. So we've got some spares for another project, should we want to do it. And then here is a piece of resin. I'm assuming that's part of the rear wing. Kind of looks broken on that end, but who knows. But uh, beautifully done nonetheless. So that's those bits there. I must say it's some um, the packaging and the presentation of the kit is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Real, real professional stuff. I'm gonna open that up because I don't want to break that part. There you go. Uh, and then we've got the body, we've got another bag of clear parts there. We've got another small bag of bits here. I'm not going to get these out because I might break them. But these are tiny little bits and pieces. These are the these are the front quarters of the bumper where the fog lamps go. And then we've got some little splitters and stuff. 
uh, we got the, that's the badge over the front of the bonnet um, and we got some little linkages there for something or other so very very nice indeed uh, and then we have here we have the main well, let's have a look at the wheels they have these wheels which are gorgeous I'm not sure if the tires are rubber or if they're resin but we'll get one out so here we go yeah the tires are rubber they're advance and they actually have the tire lettering on them they are gorgeous they are absolutely gorgeous but I prefer these wheels um, now I'm not sure which way this is supposed to go I'm guessing that's going to sit in behind there yeah that's going to sit in behind that, that. so I, you've got the choice of these wheels here or these wheels here and I'm assuming the tires will come off and then the tire will fit onto that wheel there I'm assuming because they should all be 18s it's probably 285 35 18s I think there we go so that will fit on there and then the actual wheel will go in behind so you can see you've got that there so there's your there's your two choices with tires fitted you can see there and it's nice that they give you the choice I prefer these to these so very very nice indeed let's take those off of there so I don't cause any damage to anything just in case you never know um, the other thing I don't know guys maybe you can tell me do these tires generally affect the resin that they go on do they um, do they cause issues over time um, do you need to keep them at the sunlight do you need to keep them cool not hot keep them warm not cold I, I don't know do you use special paint do you do you paint the, the wheels with something to seal them from the tires please let me know I'm not a car modeler I'm bloody I'm a petrol head I'm a big car fan but I'm not a car modeler by any stretch of the imagination I can build a model car but I'm not your uh, Paul Bretlands of this world I can assure you so that's gonna pop in there and that's gonna go in there putting all this back together so we don't leave we don't want bits and pieces laying over the bench do we keep it nice and tidy and then here we have our clear parts again these look like they're clear cast resin so we have our headlight lenses there they're not spotlessly clear but they are probably clear enough um, we have our rear light lenses there they're going to get painted red so they're going to be fine and then we've got the this is the lower part of the uh, front light I think here and then here we've got lots of little bits and pieces of reflectors and this is I think what they were talking about R probably R means paint them red but uh, there we go it's all it's all there um, I think these would probably benefit from a dip because they're not that clear um, but we shall see how they look it may look quite accurate with them not being dead clear but, uh, one of the reasons I bought this because this is not a cheap kit this is 150 pounds this kit uh, one of the reasons I bought it is I am absolutely desperate for a 124 scale injection molded GR Yaris and I thought if I buy this then within a week somebody will announce a 124 scale injected molded Yaris so that's why I bought it the same happened with the Lancaster if you remember so um, there we go in here we've got the screws for mounting the body and we've got the screws for mounting the suspension and then we've got some tiny tiny rivets in there if you can see those they're absolutely minuscule and they're going to be for adding detail to bits and pieces and then finally for the resin we have a body which looks lovely um, and something I've been very fussy about because I saw a certain manufacturer bought out a resin Yaris 
and I looked at it and the, to me the body just doesn't look right. There's something wrong with it, it's back end. But, um, wow, is there enough sellotape on here? Let's, let's cut that. So we've got the actual main body itself and it's quite weighty. Um, again, beautifully moulded. We have some bits and pieces and spots in it, but there's no bubbles. It's just, it's just dirt or whatever. But yeah, it is beautifully done. And we've got these reversing sensors in the bumper there. Um, you've got a radiator in there. Obviously, we're going to add a photo etch grill to that. You've got all the detail in behind there. You've got the rocket bunny kit fitted on there with all the rivets and screws you can see the rivets and screws in there and the actual proportions of the body I think are perfect the other one I saw I think I think it was a bit thick there and a bit squat there but this one to me looks really really good as I said it sells you on the box it's a full detail kit it's, yeah it's got this detail here but when you look in the wheel arches you've got sort of representations of of springs and stuff it's not really a full detail detail kit isn't it, it like an MFH4 detail kit it's nothing like um, it really is a curbside model but um, built up sat on its wheels sat in a cupboard your cabinet you're not going to notice any difference we got all the the stuff up here for the um, lane and everything lane control and then if we remove the floor from the body I see it's just the two pieces we have here the floor with the cup holders we've got our um, IMT button, we've got the um, uh, the auto engine stop start button there at the back and I can't remember what the one in the middle does, I think it's traction control. Uh, you've got cup holders there, we've got a slot there for the handbrake and then we've got our pedals moulded in, looking very very nice, they look good down in there um, and the detail underside is, is lovely, you've got parts of the fuel tank there, we've got the the the, uh, the plate for under the bottom of the engine. We've got CV joints there, front wishbones. We've got the exhaust system coming through. Um, the prop shaft is up behind there. We've got the rear diff. So it's all there, but then you've got great big screws going in everywhere. So it's worth um, worth remembering. But uh, very very nice indeed. And this body, you can see how thick it is here. It's it's like that thick all the way through. It's lovely. Very very nice indeed. Some visors up in there, grab handles, centre console controls, or interior lights, should I say. But the actual body itself, you can see, is very, very nice indeed. Um, I suggest it's going to need a wash. It feels a little oily, and I can see some traces of something or other on the bonnet there. But um, it does look absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice casting. But for the price, I guess it should be. Um, but, you know, you, you can pay this much money for stuff and find that it's absolute garbage. So, uh, I would say that this is, uh, whether it's worth the money or not, is going to be one man's decision against another man's decision. But, um, is it good quality? Yes. Yes, it is. So here, finally, we've got the bag of parts, which is going to be all our bits and pieces, which is what probably most of you have been looking forward to. So in here we have, come on out, don't be shy, don't be shy, it's okay, you can come out. I know you're in England. You've got those stuck to there now. There we go. Right, so here we have... These are our metal foil parts and they're very, very thin. Nothing like the Tamiya ones, they're really thin. We've got a rear view mirror there, we've got our door mirrors. We've got the GIRS badges for the back, we've got the Toyota badge for the front and a tiny Toyota badge for the steering wheel. You can see, they are lovely, very nice indeed. Then we've got our tiny little GR badges and I'm assuming they're going to be for the sides. Not sure. Here we have some speaker grills, 
this is the radio display and this is the speedo display sorry this is the speedo display and this is the radio display I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do about getting some sort of decal on there maybe there's something in it we shall see um, but that's the actual displays you get and then here we've got these are the parts of the front body the canard sort of thing for the front so they're very nice indeed here we have seat belt buckles and you can see we've got some bonnet pins and everything there Toyota badges it's just a sort of generic set by the look of it but it's uh, very nice indeed I'm assuming this is seat belt material done in photo etch rather than in seat belt material looks a little wide to me but hey I think I'd probably rather use seat belt material this is quite thick. We have a front splitter here. Um, very, very nice indeed. But it's very thick. You can see there, really nice. We have our disc brakes, front grille, radiator, intercooler, windscreen wipers, pedals, mesh grills, odds and ends, bits and pieces. And there on our photo action, that's really, really nice. And then we have GR Rocket Bunny Yaris. This is for the um, a display, if you want to put that there. And then here we have the window frames for the sides. And then we have the different wheels and different bits and pieces to go. So they made a big fuss about the steering wheel. You can go to town with that. And I'm not sure what these bits here are. We've got some grills there. And there's some more bits for the canards for the, I don't know, for the rear spoiler, the front or whatever. Um, is that what they are? It looks like they are exactly the same. So I'm not quite sure which ones you want to use, but uh, there we go. Nice, they got those window frames on there. And then these are our clear windows. And they're covered with a plastic film on both sides. Or on one side at least. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to try and get those to go in. That's going to be a nightmare. This one here especially, it's got really curl around at the ends and this one's got a compound curve. So not quite sure. If you guys have done one of these kits, you know how it goes, then please tell me because I'd love to know quite how it all goes together. But uh, very nice indeed. The one concern I do have is there are no instrument decals. So... Not really quite sure what you're supposed to do. You've got these resin parts, you've got photo etch panels that go in there, but there's nothing. I guess you just paint them black because it's shut down, it's turned off. Paint them matte black or satin black, whatever. But um, as you can see, you've got the HKS decals there and they're really, really nice and are gonna look amazing. Um, Hypermax suspension, Toyota Gazoo Racing, GR Yaris, HKS, we've got the door cards there, and then all the bits and pieces that go all over the body. Very nice indeed. And then here we have the, the other version, as I call it. We've got rays there for the wheels. We've got the complete decal there for the doors. Orange and red for the bonnet. And the Toyo tires. And proxies for the uh, tires so you're going to end up with a few little spare decals there that you're going to love on another Japanese car project if you don't use them so there we are so that's it guys that has been a review of this beautiful little kit this is the Rocket Bunny GR Yaris HKS from Alpha Model AM020057 and if you want to get one get on over to Hero Boy the cheapest place I could find to get one was Hero Boy um, and it was £149 and you get free shipping because it's over £100. Or if you're local, you can go and collect it just like I did. So there you go. Um, and as you can see clearly in this picture, the car is left-hand drive. So I don't know why they've put a right-hand drive interior in it, but hey-ho. So uh, there we are. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've certainly enjoyed looking at it. It's the first look I've had it. And uh, as I say, the only concern I've got is decals for the instrument panels. But... If it has got the Motec type dash um, and certainly the the display that goes in the center of the dashboard, the radio, 
when it's turned off it's just like a satin black screen so um i'm guessing that's why they've given you photo actually you can just paint it and it's dead flat but uh anyway there we go what do i think of it i'll give it an 8 out of 10 um it would be a 10 out of 10 but the instructions are bloody awful and i think there could have been a bit more detail in it i would like to have seen the bucket seats roll cage whatever but hey ho it is what it is it's the only thing out there if you want to build one of these so um there we go thanks for watching see you all soon guys bye for now